Okay, let's look at how to find um, two angles between 0 and 360 that have a given trig ratio. So your calculator is good at giving you one of the possible angles between 0 and 360 that would have a tan ratio of 4 over 7. So between 0 and 360, um, the angle between the initial arm and the terminal arm, there is an angle that has a tan ratio of opposite 4 over adjacent 7, and the calculator could give us that first tan ratio. Uh, if we used inverse tan of that ratio, it would tell us the first angle. But there's another possible angle between 0 and 360 that you have to consider. It's an angle that we'd say is a related angle to the first one that the calculator would give you. And to find that second angle, you're going to have to remember your cast rule. So remember cast rule um, tells us that the cosine ratio is positive in this quadrant, all ratios are positive in this quadrant, sine is positive in this quadrant, and tan is positive in this quadrant. So when I say sine is positive here, that means sine is positive, but the other two ratios, cos and tan, are negative. Tan positive, sine and cos are negative, cos positive, sine and tan are negative, but in the first quadrant, all ratios are positive. So for tan of an angle to be four over seven, so for it to be a positive ratio, it's going to have to either be in the all quadrant, the first quadrant, or the tan quadrant, the third quadrant. And there are in fact two possible answers. There's an answer in the first quadrant and there is another possible answer in the third quadrant that have the exact same ratio. You can use your calculator to get the first ratio or the first angle, like I said, that has the given ratio four over seven. So we can use the calculator, um, use the inverse tan function of the ratio four over seven and your calculator will give you the angle in the first quadrant that has the tan ratio. So let's go ahead and do that. Second tan of four divided by seven and your calculator will give you the angle of about 29.7 degrees. So what that tells us, that tells us the angle between the initial arm and a terminal arm that is rotated counterclockwise 29.7 degrees has a tan ratio of four over seven, meaning the ratio between um, the opposite side and the adjacent side is four over seven. So now what we wanna do is we want to find the other possible angle that has the same ratio. And we're gonna to have to use the reference angle to be able to figure out where to draw the terminal arm in the other quadrant where tan is positive. The reference angle is the angle between the terminal arm and the x-axis. So the angle between the x-axis and this terminal arm would be 29.7 degrees. So what we have to do is draw another terminal arm in the tan quadrant that has a reference angle of 29.7 degrees. And then we need to figure out how far have we rotated from the initial arm to get to this terminal arm. Now to get to that terminal arm, we've gone past 180 by 29.7. So to get the second angle, you would have gone past 180 degrees by 29.7 degrees. So our second possible angle is 209.7. So what we have figured out here, we have figured out that um, tan of 29.7 should have the exact same ratio as tan 209.7, and both of those ratios should be about four over seven. Now we've done some rounding, so it won't be exact, but let's just double check and see what we have here. Um, so let's check. Tan 29.7, it has a ratio of about 0.57. Let's check tan of 209.7, it should be the exact same ratio, and it is, and they should be both be pretty close to four over seven, which is also 0.57. So this is what we have figured out right here. Tan of 29.7 has a ratio of four over seven and so does tan of 209.7. Let's do one more example just, just to make sure you see how it works. So cosine of angle theta equals three over five. Now there are two possible angle thetas that have this ratio of three over five. So remember your cast rule. So cosine is positive in two quadrants and we, have a co and we have a positive cosine ratio. 
So, so our cosine ratio has to be positive, which means it's in one of two quadrants. It's either in the first quadrant, where all the ratios are positive, or it's in the fourth quadrant, where the cosine ratio is positive. So we should get two possible answers. Um, for angles between the initial arm and a terminal arm that have a cosine ratio of 3 over 5. Now, <clears throat> your calculator will give you the first one. If we do inverse cos, I can write that a little better. If we do inverse cos of the ratio of 3 over 5, your calculator will tell you one possible angle between 0 and 360 that has that ratio. Inverse cos, 3 over 5, the angle 53.1, approximately 53.1, has that ratio. So if we rotate 53.1 degrees between the initial arm and the terminal arm in a counterclockwise direction, 53.1 degrees, um, the reference angle here the angle between the initial and terminal arm would be 53.1 degrees. So what we do is we plot that reference angle in the other quadrant where cosine is positive. So cosine is also positive here. So the reference angle has to be the same, 53.1. And now we figure out what did we have to rotate from the initial arm to get to that terminal arm, and that will be the other angle that has the same ratio. So to get to here from the initial arm, what we did was... Um, we fell 53.1 degrees short of rotating an entire 360 degrees. So to get the second angle, what we can do is 360. We can just take away that 53, 360, take away that 53.1 degrees. So if we do that, <clears throat> we can get 306 point nine degrees and then what we have figured out is that cos of 53.1 should be the same as cos of 306.9 and they should both be equivalent to about 0 0.6 so let's just double check that cos of 53.1 should be the same as cos of 306.9, which they are, they're the exact same, and they should both be the same as 3 over 5, which is 0 0.6. Um, keep in mind, I mean, there's an infinite number of possible angles that have given ratios. You can just find coterminal angles by repeatedly adding or subtracting 360, but between 0 and 360, there's always two possible angles. One, two that have the same cosine, tan, or sine ratios. So for this one, for 3 over 5, it was 53.1 and 306.9 that had the ratio of 3 over 5.